Yes, um, sometimes I feel like it's necessary, like duality is necessary, like the good and the bad. So some days I really get extremely creative and I just go outside in nature, um, where there's water, where I hear birds, just like I get inspired by nature or recently, um, like just working on healing and just like getting over certain things. I you know, channeled that into my poetry and things of that nature. And so when I didn't want to sing, I would like appreciate that because you really do need a break from things sometimes because then you you actually want to do it more, you know. So I think it's good to take a break sometimes. Um, so my transition from high school and college was, it was smooth. Um, my first choice wasn't Virginia State. Um, it was Spelman, but that's only because my uncle went to Morehouse, so I really wasn't doing it for myself. So I started to look around, and my mentor, a couple of my mentors went here. I had about four staff members in high school who attended BSU and graduated, um, whether it was undergrad or grad, and so, well, got a degree. Um, and so I looked into VSU, and I, I was on YouTube, and I liked the community service. I liked the um, programs. I liked... Um, President Abdullah's engagement with the students and just with the school in general. So I was like, this is for me. I never even visited the school, but I just made that choice and I'm happy with that. Now, as far as like making it as an artist here, um, art is pretty natural for me. So the process has been natural for me as well. Like I recently won the talent show. So I opened up for the homecoming concert and that was such a blessing. And I, I couldn't believe it, but I could like believe it because I have that much confidence in myself. But it's just like, I'm just rolling along with it. Like I have so much like faith in that, in, in that, um, in my process and my journey. And, and the fact that I know I'm just going to be good. And, um, I plan on auditioning for Zaya's, um, stage play and so her um, spoken work play and so um, I can't wait for that I can't wait for like opportunities to just show people that like I'm the I'm Bahati the artist I'm the poet I'm the singer and I'm just here to share my craft and I really don't care about nothing else but that yeah so basically um, I enjoy like as much as I enjoy working alone and being in my own space and creating for myself I love the outcome of group work just like creatives like dope creatives just coming together and just making bomb productions just bomb work and so i wanted to do that with people who i knew were talented here at bsu and so when i reached out i didn't really get the response that i always um uh, that i expected and so um I took it as them being cocky, in which I do get that energy from a lot of people, like cockiness and things in that nature. And that's because it's like a hierarchy here or it's a lot of like elite mentality that goes on when we're all just creatives and like Virginia State isn't a performing arts school. Like, but we have a lot of performers, we have a lot of artists. And with that being said, we just gotta just collab and just really like spread the love and things of that nature because it's just not one poet it's just not one photographer one singer dancer it's just not one of anybody ever and like i said i've been inspired by jill scott india Ari, erica badu and people like in the same genre of music just think about an entire genre you don't have one person taking over that entire genre you have well there are those greats but you have people who like just really make that entire genre stand out so there's many dope poets many dope photographers singers and dancers and i just feel like you know you have to be able to give in order to receive and just to keep your blessings coming you have to be able to like um just bring people in you know right and like you never know what someone else can bring to your table so you just got to be open-minded as an artist. My main goal is to inspire. Like, that sounds like a cliche answer, but I really just want to inspire because I don't, I don't really have, like, a goal of, like, getting a certain money or ending up or on Ellen or um, just ending up, like, somewhere 
that's like that everyone expects to go like you know on some type of talk show or just be seen like if you see me i want you to see me so see my uh, see my heart see my craft and just really understand like who i am and where my heart is and so yeah my goal <laughs> so my goal is to inspire my goal is to just create and just to better my craft and that means collaborating with people who can give me a few tips on what to do or how to become a better poet how to become a better singer and so I just want to inspire and be a better person so some of the things I have planned is um, I have a talent show that I'm going to be performing at um, on the 29th of November with um, some other dope poets I have I also will be auditioning for Zaya's um, spoken word play and so I'm excited for that you can follow me on IG at Bahati underscore underscore B-A-H-A-T-I-I underscore underscore and on Twitter at Kinks and Melanin K-I-N-K-S as in Kinks in your hair and Melanin M-E-L-A-N-I-N I want to say shout out to Grown Up from the Grown Up mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to From the Ground Up for this amazing interview it was real dope much success <laughs>